first things first, it's a random one. And this goes out mostly to my um, American listeners out there, especially people who maybe live in a state of Florida. I really want to know, while Guam with Don Ron DeSantis, like, what is the deal with this approach? I don't really understand this and I don't get why this is a good thing. Because that's what I want to understand. I get the hysteria on one side of things about why people are annoyed by it especially if you're pro vaccines and pro lockdown i know why you're pissed off but i want to know for the people that are not pro lockdowns and i are not pro vaccine why is this a good approach and the thing i'm reading to you is from politico and the headline says as follows desantis defends allowing stockpiled covid tests to expire and i remember there was a clip that went around of the sergeant general which is this guy on the left called dr joseph lapado so Ladapo, who says something along the lines of, oh, they're going to stop testing as much because, I don't know, something crazy, he said. And basically the soundbite was that if we don't test, then, you know, no, I think the takeaway from it was that if you don't test, then the numbers aren't going to be as crazy as they are because at the moment, I guess the numbers are, don't actually reflect the reality of what's going on. I don't really know what, what was going on there, but it, just, it was a mad clip. But this is an even stranger thing that stockpiles of like COVID tests or sorry, of I think COVID tests or lateral flow tests, whatever they may be, are now expiring because they're not being deployed to people or maybe people aren't using them because it's the state of Florida and no one gives a crap. I don't really know. Let's read the article. Um, it says, yeah, Governor Ron DeSantis on Friday defended his administration's decision to allow up to 1 million COVID rapid test kits to expire, a move that comes as, as he is facing increasing criticism from Democrats over his handling of the Omicron surge, um, which I think is unfair because if I'm not mistaken, his wife is going through some issues, right? I think she's got cancer or something. So he's taking a lot of time off to obviously look after her and kind of look after his kids, which again, I think was not received well by people on the other side of the aisle who, I don't know, were calling him out and saying that he was missing from work and skiving and stuff. It's like, mate, he, I mean, his wife is terminally ill. Do you know what I mean? If, especially with, especially considering where everything that's gone on this last couple of years, you, you imagine people would have a little, a little bit of sympathy for people in this such situation. But I guess because he's a Republican, people don't, you know, have sympathy with people on that side of things in America. I don't know why it's a strange place in that regard. But hey, we move on. He continues to say Florida Division of Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie admitted during a Thursday press conference that a test expired and DeSantis on Friday sought to explain why the state didn't distribute them, which again is wild. So it's not even, I would, it's one thing if the people of Florida decided we don't want to have COVID tests because we just want to live our lives and we don't care about these numbers. It's a virus. It doesn't exist. We're in the sun, fresh air, you know, all that stuff. People, anti-vax people say it's not, as, it's, it's just a flu, whatever. If that would be okay, the, the citizen decide we don't want to do the test because this is why I'm not really for the whole like mandatory vaccinations. I think that's not the right way to, and this is coming from somebody who's double vaxxed. I don't think you should mandatory vaccinate anybody. It shouldn't be mandated to do anything. It should be people to deciding for themselves what's right for them and then going with that decision. But it, you shouldn't be demonized if you can't get vaccinated. I mean, obviously you should maybe have to present some papers or jump through hoops, but you should not, not be allowed to go in the place because you're not vaccinated. But obviously if, if the business requires you to have a vaccine passport and you don't have one, then you can't come in. But it shouldn't be a government thing where they enforce it in every single place. That's just lunacy. But it continues. It said DeSantis uh, argued that the stockpile resulted from a lack of demand in the later part of 2021. Hmm and blame President Joe Biden administration for not granting extensions to keep the test eligible, something it did in September for three months. He said that as cases spurred by the Delta variant dropped in February, so in Florida, during the later half of 2021, people were not taking tests for months and months. Interesting. So he's basically saying it's partly down to Biden's administration and people of Florida for not picking them up. So he's essentially blaming his own constituents. Bit of a weird one, isn't it? Um, it says, yeah, um, the, the Division of Emergency Management has been asking about that for many, many weeks, anticipating that, said DeSantis on Friday. Basically, the way they, the federal government, do this is that they always want to have enough tests if people need them. They send them down. The results of that is we had a stockpile, but no one really wanted them for many, many months. So they get sent lows, regardless if they request them or not. They just get sent because I guess the government doesn't want to be in a position where you know, people can't get a hold of vaccines or sorry, can't get a hold of lateral flow tests because it's going to look bad. So to protect their asses, they just ship as many as they can down. But then obviously some states don't need them because people aren't requesting them or people just don't know they're there or whatever it may be. So I, I think it's twofold. I think most likely, you know, the state of Florida probably didn't make any effort to alert their citizens 
that they have these tests available. They probably didn't make any effort. And the people of Florida also probably don't give a flaming F. They probably just don't care. Um, I think from what I've heard so far from what I've seen on YouTube or what I've obviously read online, Florida just seems to be a place where COVID doesn't exist and it just kind of get on with life and live their merry way and just kind of enjoy themselves. So I could imagine a lot of them being like, why would I pick up a test? I'm not sick. I'm fine. I feel healthy. I'm breathing this fresh sea air in. I've got the sun beaming on me. Do you know what I mean? Like, why would they want to? I understand in that regard, but I just think it's so careless like and not even careless it's just like why not give it to a state that needs them then or why not ship them abroad to countries that are maybe in short supply i'm sure not every I'm, even here in the uk we're struggling to get free lateral flow tests because allegedly the stock is out but i think it's just because the government doesn't want to give them away for free anymore and they basically turned off that free tap and then steered us in the direction of all the paid services but why can't they just ship them to other places that are in, that need them why not why just let them expire like that is just horrible it kind of reminds me of like those supermarkets or shops that you go at. again it's, this is a weird one example but those stores and supermarkets that you pass where the places that they put all the kind of quote-unquote expired sell-by-date food and they usually put them in bins and some places they padlock the bins they lock them because homeless people jump over and you know shock horror or like how dare they they jump over and obviously because they're hungry they try and dig through and see if there's anything to eat but they padlock the flipping bins because they don't want them to get in there. I guess because it's a mess, I guess when homeless people jump in there, they're not exactly going to put things back in their normal place or where they should be neatly. They're just going to chuck as much stuff out and just walk whatever they can get under their hands or get in their hands. But still, imagine the flipping, imagine the lack of humanity that must exist in you to padlock a flipping bin where you're going to chuck food in the skip anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's just horrible. Or grind it down and make a fucking t-shirt. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, give it something to eat. Um, it continues here. It says, in the days before Fed's admission, Santis had focused on erasing the testing psychology. Jesus. That's an interesting approach, isn't it? If, uh, essentially arguing against the practice that all individuals should get tests regardless of whether they show COVID symptoms while railing against the federal government for not providing tests. Oh, interesting. I get that. So basically, he's arguing that the numbers are quite fudged and a little bit inflated artificially so because everyone gets tested even if they don't have symptoms but what they want to do is they want to uh, you know steer people down the approach of only get tested if you actually have symptoms so that the numbers are more reflective of who actually has covid and i guess it's a similar move that they're trying to do i saw a clip or a news article where they're trying to change how they um document deaths relating to covid because if you remember in the beginning i guess because they couldn't test for it i don't know why they did this but if you got admitted to a hospital and you just happened to have and you happened to catch covid there but then you died because of an injury they would classify as covid or sometimes just because you happen to be in hospital during your covid during having during the time everyone's got covid you'd be put down as a covid patient even though you're not so the numbers were incredibly inflated in terms of who actually was in there for covid and who was in there because of other health issues um, it continues here, it says US Food and Drug Administration, um, which is responsible for monitoring expiration dates and tests, did not return a request seeking comment. Um, DeSantis did announce on Thursday that his administration would send 1 million self-administrated COVID tests to state um, nursing homes and long-term care facilities amid the new surge in infections due to the Omicron variant. Wow, man. Interesting, isn't it? Very, very interesting approach. But again, again I'm not going to read the entire thing, but if you're around then you're from the US or it's like especially the state of Florida. Please explain this to me. Why this is a good approach. Are, are the people of Florida actually happy with this approach? Are people pissed off that they don't have any tests anymore? Um, or is this just a big psyop? Let me know in the comments down below.